Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Of course, subscribe to my channel, share some us, your family and friends, and of course get a conversation started with me in the description box below, in the, in the comment section below. But as you already guessed, this is going to be a hair care haul of my favorite hair care products. I know that you guys typically don't get a chance to see my hair in its actual straightened state. I only straighten my hair probably once or twice a year. Typically when you guys see my hair, it's always in its curly state. But I'm going to insert a photo of what my hair looked like January 2018 when I actually cut my hair. And when I cut my hair, you guys know it was cut up on this side to right here. And this side came down to right here. And so far, this is the hair growth we've had. Of course, I have went ahead and been consistently cutting out the rest of my little perm ends, going in and dusting and clipping my ends. So in the past two years, I've cut about six inches off my actual hair. Um, right now, we are below bra, strength, bra, bra strap length in the back. It still has movement. It still has body. The fullness of my hair is there. So you guys are able to see that. So it's all there. And I actually do go ahead and dye my hair black. You guys know I do have gray hair that come in. You know, I was born with gray hair. I've had gray hair since I was a little child. So it's there. And I just want you guys to actually be able to see it and actually be able to, like, run my fingers. Okay. See, you would want to just, okay. We're going to act like we didn't see that little tangle. Let's try it one more time. But it is there. Uh, my hair is tangly. It always tangles. But this is my actual hair. So you guys can actually see. No matter where you part it at, you can actually see the actual scalp with my actual hair. Because I know that's important for you guys to actually see. To make sure people aren't doing like tracks, you know, and different things like that in their hair. Trying to say, hey guys, this is my hair and this is what I did throughout the growth process. My, me, in the meantime, they got like micro links or tracks or something in their hair. Um, you can pretty much tell, yeah, it's, I am very happy along this actual journey with my actual hair, and I just wanted to come bring some things for you guys that, you know, help me along my journey. So if you're ready to go ahead and get into this hair care haul of my favorite items that I utilize to keep my hair strong and healthy as I'm growing from... That was shoulder length when I cut my hair. Right now I am below bra strap length. So it's that mid back length with my actual hair. All my journey to tailbone length hair. If you're ready to see what we got, let's keep on watching. You're my beautiful one taking me home. One thing really do one. Now you guys already know when it comes to hair, no one's hair is the same. Everybody's hair is different. Just because one item may work on these 30 girls don't mean it's going to work on you, your family, or your sister. Some of the things that work might work on your auntie might not work on you. For me, I just got back to the basics with my hair. I made sure I always kept my hair moisturized. I made sure I stayed underneath uh, deep condition protein treatments. I did all of that underneath the hooded dryer or steamer. I did show you guys, what was it, last year, year before last, the steamer and things I bought off of Amazon. I do use the hooded golden hot hair dryer here at home. I did go ahead and show you <laughs> this flat iron from Kaposi. And this is their two inch, inch and a half flat iron. Yeah, 1.75 inch wide in black. Now, I love this flat iron. This flat iron, I, when I flat iron my hair, I flat iron my hair on 430 degrees. Um, I go across my sections once, maybe twice. But because of how thick it is, and it has a digital screen right here where you're able to see it goes all the way up to 450 in increments of 10. 420, no, I would prefer it to 425, but I went ahead and did 430. And it does have the buttons right here on the inside where you guys can press and use. And it does have the swivel um, 
the base part here so as you're doing your hair going around doing different sections of your hair you don't have to worry about the cord getting caught up on something so this is one of my absolute favorites i'm happy that i bought this i do believe i purchased this last year and i put it in my amazon haul i'll go back to that video and i'll get the information for it and i'll leave it in the um description box below but this was what 26 27 dollars and it's the best flat iron i've ever used with my hair i don't have any heat damage i was surprised at how straight my hair actually got i was surprised at just how much body and movement my hair actually has you know i it, I, I, that's not something that I've been able to experience or have throughout the actual years. So I'm very happy about that actual flat iron. And another thing about that flat iron is it doesn't leave my hair smelling like I, my hair is flat iron. Um, I had the Babyliss Pro, the blue one. And that flat iron, when I bought it five years ago from Kohl's, it was $130. I hated that flat iron because it would snag and pull my hair and after I finished flat ironing my hair, it was a very reminiscent smell of burnt hair. And I hated that. Like, I just spent all this time washing, conditioning, and cleaning my hair to flat iron it for it to smell like, uh, you yeah, know, I, I just want my hair to smell like whatever products are in it. So I'm going to leave this flat iron for you guys. It was amazing. I've had it. This is my fourth time using this flat iron. And every time I'm just so happy, like, again... I've never had movement and body with my hair like this. I've never had an at-home flat iron session turn out like this. And ever since I've been using this flat iron, I'm just enamored. Love it. So my first really part of this haul is going to come from my local beauty supply store. Just being able to tell you guys what I do and what I go through. I do color my hair, permanently color my hair once a year. But throughout the year when I need to do touch-ups and different things to bring my black back and cover up any gray hair, I'll go in with a semi-permanent color. I used to use the Adore colors. And the thing I hated about that is from time to time, like for the first week or two after you use the Adore colors, how it would just kind of rub off on your clothes. Every time you took um, a shower or washed your hair, you could just see the color running out of the sink. And I've been watching a lot of wig videos. Larasia, Andrea... I've been watching Arnell with her um, celebrity-inspired looks and stuff that she's been doing. I watch a lot of wig tutorials, even though I don't wear t wigs. Um, just trying to figure out, you know, what is the best hair colors. And what I came across when I permanently dye my hair. This is the only thing I permanently dye my hair with. I don't use anything else but Beijing when I permanently dye my hair. And it's really just the actual roots of my gray. I'll go ahead and put it on my roots of my gray. And I'll let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then I'll take the remaining amount and I'll pull it through the actual lengths of my hair and let that sit for another 10 minutes and then rinse everything out, neutralize, go through the whole process of deep conditioning, first with the protein treatment, then with the moisturizing treatment, then a hot oil treatment. Color days for my hair are very long. They're like an eight hour process because I want to make sure that I'm adding and putting as much back into my hair as possible to prevent breakage. Um, my hair is prone to breakage. Um, if you guys don't know, my hair is thick, low porosity, high density. Um, what's the other stuff they say about hair? It's like seven different things with hair. Um, my hair works better with heat as far as allowing moisture into my hair, allowing treatments into my hair. Um, last year when I had, let's see if we could find it, if you guys could see it. Last year when I had my surgery, I had breakage that happened because of, let's see if I can find it. Last year when I had my surgery, you know, everything that happened with me when I got sick last year, I lined up having to have a full hysterectomy last year. Um, when I went through my surgery, I had two surgeries back to back. So I was under for quite some time. My first surgery that morning was my double hernia repair, followed by my micro complete full hysterectomy. Um, having the, being under anesthesia and all of that stuff completely took a toll on my actual hair. And it's about a two inch section. If you guys could see, see that right there? It's about a two inch section. Let me lean in so you, okay, there you go. You can see it better. It's 
So it's about a two inch section of my hair, about two inches wide and about two inches high. Thank God it's right here in the back so you really can't see it and tell it that much. I have enough hair around the section to where I didn't actually have to go ahead and cut all of my hair. But I did go ahead and clip the ends from what had broke off. When it broke off last year, I had my braids and I think that's my saving grace that I had braids in. So, And they had kind of grown out for about four weeks prior to me having my surgery. So I think that's the reason why I didn't have more breakage with the anesthesia that I went under. But this section of my hair, when it broke last year, it had broke all the way down to here. So I've had about two, two and a half inches of hair growth from August until now being May. So what's that? Five and five, 10 months? 10 months of hair growth? Okay, I'm retarded. Nine months of hair growth, I've been able to retain two inches right there. I did cut off a little bit of the section on the end. But because of how it falls and where it lays in my hair, you can't really tell that it's there, but you can definitely see where it broke right here. So that is the section that I'm working on and rehabbing just to get it to grow back in. It's still full, it's still there, and it's growing apparently. But I just wanted to go ahead and catch up with the rest of my hair. I know that'll be quite some time before we go from where it is right there all the way down to catch up with the rest of the hair at the bottom. But it is something I'm working on. Remember, guys, that I'm also anemic, so I'm constantly fighting a battle to stay on top of my iron regimen, to stay on top of my multivitamins and different things like that because because I'm anemic, I have drier hair. Um, my roots will get dry really, really fast, and if I leave my roots dry for too long, oh, it'll start to create breakage. If I'm not staying on top of my iron regimen and my anemia drops too low within my body as far as my blood is concerned... Then my hair will start to split. I'll get crazy split ends. I'll get crazy fairy knots and breakage. So moisture is something that I'm huge on. I drink tons of water. I stay on top of my iron regimen. I stay on top of my hair treatments. So I'm just going to show you what I do with low porosity, high density, thick hair. Um, right here in the front, I am probably a 3B around the edges. Around the edges right here, I'm a 4A. And right here in the nape of the area, I am a 4A back there. But this entire swatch of you hair right here, that's all a 3C. So that is the texture of my hair. Just in case you guys are kind of wondering as far as trying to depend on what may work for you. Because I'm always having those three different textures. And I'm text lax, which means I'm always dealing with new version hair and then text lax hair. <laughs> My wash days are horrendous. My hair uh, likes to mat up all the time. So I always have to wash and do treatments on my hair in sections. I can't just let it be free. And because of that, I'm always trying to make sure that I'm putting moisture on my hair. I'm sealing the moisture on my hair and I'm drinking as much water as possible. So this is what I'll use when I permanently color my hair once a week. And it's, I mean, once a year. And I always use the shade, the Oriental Black. I use three or four of these when I actually color my hair. Um, I did switch over to the Kiss colors because the color you guys see on my hair now is Kiss. And it's the Kiss Temptation. So for me, what I do is I use the black Kiss in the back of my hair and in the whole front section of my hair, like this area, the crown, and all of the front, I use jet black. And that is the color that you guys see coming across with the actual hair. I love this. I love the color, the dye, and everything that it left on my hair. And the fact that when washing my hair and touching my hair, I'm not starting to get like black residue on my hands or under my nails or anything like that. I am so happy that I found Kiss. And from now on, I will only be using Kiss to actually refresh my color. As far as me text laxing, this is the only perm that I've been using since 2013 when I first started my hair journey. I'm gonna leave a hair, I'm gonna leave a photo in here when I had my hair dyed. In 2013, I probably had been dyeing my hair red for 13 years. I've had my hair cut to a short pixie cut, to the old school Keisha Cole while it was short coming around with curls down this side. I'm gonna show you just how bad my stupid hair was 
And what made me decide to go on my hair journey so I can get back the thickness of the hair that I had in my youth and the length of the hair that I had in my youth. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some pictures here for you guys. Now, the only perm that I've been using during my text lax process, I started to film my last wash day that I just did yesterday. Um, I just did my hair, I'm sorry, I'm lying. Three days ago, I started Thursday. I'm filming this video Saturday night, so I did this Thursday with my actual hair as far as my pre-pool, actually shampooing my hair, text laxing my hair, coloring my hair, my protein treatment, my moisturizing treatment, my hot oil treatment, and my flat iron process. If I was to sit down and do that all in one day and go from start to finish, it would take me eight hours. Like... So for me, I spread it across two different days, being lazy, just doing it whenever I felt like, because I was off from work. So that's just, I just spread it over two different days. But since 2013, the only perm that I use to text ax my hair is this. It's the Mega Growth um, Anti Damage No Lie Relaxer, and I always have to use the Super Strength because if I, I tried to get the regular strength one time, and it didn't really texturize my hair, text the hair, the, my hair the way I needed to. So this past time I had to go in and do a correction because about this far down, about that much hair from when I had used a regular, didn't text, didn't text lax correctly. So I had this much of my hair from the last time I text lax my hair. Then I had all of my new growth that had came in. So I had to go ahead and text lax my roots. And then I had to move down and text lax this section so it could all be text lax the exact same way throughout down my entire hair strand. Hot mess. Hot mess. But anyway, what I'll do when I text lax my hair, I'll just go ahead and typically I'll use three of these. And then I always get the mega packs. Six of them come in the actual box. Um, I'll use three whole ones to actually do my hair. Last time I had to use three whole ones because I had to do this section, my roots, and then about... Two and a half inches down, I had to do another two inch swatch throughout my actual head. Long story short, I had to use three of these, but my ratio when I do text laxing is 50% perm, 30% conditioner. Um, I always use the Hello Hydration, the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Conditioner, and then I'll use either olive oil or grapeseed oil, and it's 20% oil. I'll take it, mix that up. Put it on my actual roots as far as my new growth all the way down to my new growth. And I'll leave that on for about 10 minutes and go ahead and wash it out. That's my text lax process. And it still leaves me with a whole bunch of coarse texture throughout my actual hair. I tried to go natural. I couldn't do it. Um, natural just wasn't for me. It was just, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I tried I, I failed miserably. I just couldn't do it. Text lax works for me. Perming is not something I would ever want to go back to. Um, because I do so many treatments on my hair, I go through these conditioning caps like it's nothing. So I always buy the 100-pack processing caps and I always use the Annie brand or pretty much whatever brand they have. I don't like the multicolor caps because I noticed that they're so thin that as I'm trying to maneuver and put my hair into them or if I have clips anything, it rips the actual cut processing cap i don't like that any is a brand that's thick enough to actually hold my hair without having any issues it holds really well with the little band when you put on a conditioning cap you know if it's too loose how you'll start to have product running down your face i don't have time for that this hundred piece set was just six dollars and 99 cents this six packs box of perm at my store was ten dollars and 99 cents was it it was 9.99 i just went ahead and bought all of this on the 21st so i just went ahead and bought all of this on the 21st of may and of course you know when i have like braid outs um like when my hair is in braids or plaits or whatever it may be i always recondition um re-moisturize my scalp with the aloe vera rose water and water mix then after i do that i'll go ahead and spray this spray on my actual scalp even though it says it's for braids Anytime my hair is braided away or tucked away, I always put this on my scalp. It helps um, helps neutralize odors. It helps prevent itching and anything like that. So this way you guys are able to wear your braids for longer or your twists for longer without actually having to unravel and fluff them out. Or if you actually get braids, cornrows, individual box braids, anything like that, if you'll go ahead and just re-moisturize your scalp with water, rose water, aloe vera, I do a 30, 
I do a third, a third, and a third water, aloe vera, and rose water to actually re-moisturize my actual hair. And then I'll spray this on. But this is the Sulfur 8 Medicated Intra Dandruff Conditioner. And this is a dandruff treatment for braids. It prevents dry aging scalps. It helps neutralize odors. Just shake it up real good and just spray it on your scalp and you'll be good to go. It doesn't give you that really icky smell. So that's not something you guys have to worry about. Blow drying my hair. I go through these little combs. I never use the brush. It's always like the smaller comb or the larger comb that's right there on the inside. I go through these combs like nobody's business. Again, I only really blow dry my hair probably four or five times a year. Every other time I'm blow drying my hair because of how thick my hair is, I'll snap and break a comb. So with me snapping and breaking combs, it just becomes easier for me to just go ahead and just stock up on these and keep these. I have the handheld golden hot hair dryer. Perfect. That's what I use. I know that you guys sometimes use the paddle brushes with the, you know, the paddle brush and the dryer that does this. I'm, I'm not coordinated enough for that. I tried to do that and I was too busy ripping my hair out like it was a hot mess. So I just stick to what I know, just old school, just golden hot handheld dryer with the comb attachment. And I just stock up on these so when I break one, I just go get another one. So I got these, these were $5.99. And that was it for that actual part of my beauty supply run. Prior to that, back when I had my actual braids, my braids with the little curly cues in them and everything, um, yeah, my goddess braids that I had like a couple of months ago. When I went to the beauty supply store then, I did go ahead and pick up some lashes. Every time I'm going to the beauty supply store, my weakness is eyelashes. My weakness is eyelashes. If I see some pretty lashes, I'm going to buy them. So I saw these. This is by this brand called um, Miss Express Lash. And this is in the style M as in Mary, 102B as in Boy. This is their premium 100% silk lash. When I saw those lashes, I was like, ooh, those are pretty. I definitely want those. So I went ahead and grabbed these. And when I had my goddess braids, she only used one pack of hair um, to braid up my big ass head. And this is the hair that I got to actually use. This is the Ultra. This is the Expressions. And this is the Ultra Braid three times. It's in the uh, 42 inch. And it's in the shade, I think this is 1B. But this is what it looks like. Yeah, 1B. Shade 1B. But this is what I go ahead and get to actually braid up my hair. And she only used one pack to do all of my braids. Last time you guys actually saw my braids. Now, for the goddess curls, I didn't want any type of synthetic hair for the goddess curls. Because I know it tangles a lot. So because I know it tangles a lot, I went ahead and got a synthetic human hair blend. And this is what I got. I went ahead and got the Deep Wave three-piece uh, bundle set, which is 24 inches, 26 inches, and 28 inches. And this is also in the shade 1B. And pretty much this is what it looks like. And she only used one bundle last time when she was doing my hair. But this is what it looks like. Again, it's on a track. So it's a bundle of hair. And all she did was just take and just cut it off the bundle. And then she would just go ahead and just braid these in. So I have all my curly pieces sticking out. And I didn't receive too much tangling or shedding by actually doing and using this method. So my goddess braid stayed looking really pretty for a really long time. I had my hair braided up for like almost three months. And I didn't have any problems or issues. So this is what I used. Um, I'm El Cheapo. I refuse to go spend like $80 on one bundle to actually braid into my hair for the real human hair. So I got the human hair synthetic blend. Hair hack for you guys. Maybe it'll work for you. Now, getting into my next favorite product. This has been a lifesaver. Green Beauty here on YouTube is an amazing channel. They'll let you know about traction alopecia, alopecia growing hair, your curl pattern of your actual hair, your growth pattern of your hair, your hair texture, um, the different typing systems, your porosity, your thickness of your hair. A lot of times people can have, you know, thick hair, like a lot of hair, but thin strands. Or you can have thinner hair, like sparse hair, 
but your strands are thicker. So she has been a lifesaver. I think I've been following her channel for about six or seven years. She did come out with her own hair care products. And when I tell you she has the best hot oil treatment, it, you could also use it as a regular oil to seal your hair doing braid out and twist outs, or you can use it as a hot oil treatment on wash day. And the protein treatment, I just take and mix in like a third of the actual bottle with a protein conditioner just to really crack it on up for my hair. And my hair has just been loving it. Um, you guys have seen this before on my channel. It's not sponsored or anything like that. But I love her product so much that I went ahead and bought even more. So I've already used one. I get three uses out the four ounce. And this is her Green Beauty. This is the real protein treatment. So, like I said, I use a third of the bottle each time I wash and do my hair. My hair uh, requires a protein treatment every other week. Because of the way my hair is and because of the way I'm washing my hair, you have to have a balance in between the moisture and protein with your hair. If you're experiencing a lot of breaking and shedding, really up the moisture with your actual hair as far as moisturizing treatments with heat. And every other week, every three weeks once a month get yourself on a regimen to add protein to your actual hair regimen and you'll start to see your hair change and transform it's not going to happen overnight but trust me you guys it is something you love and use so i had already completely used one <laughs> went back and bought another one and like i said a third i use a third of the bottle each time and i was like why am i buying these little bitty bottles lynn so i went ahead and just bought four of the big bottles so the little bottles that she have, they are four ounce sizes. So this is four ounces that you guys can get with Green Beauty. Or you can get the larger eight ounce bottles. And again, I love her product so much. And with me washing and doing my hair, I typically wash my hair every two weeks. I went ahead and made sure I had at least a year supply of the actual product. She does run different sales and specials. But even without a sale and a special, even if you just get one bottle, try it and just see how it works on your hair but i love her products and of course the hot oil treatment <laughs> i've had this for quite some time um i did about six hot oil treatments with this and i also use this to help seal in my hair so i've had this for about i got this last year so i've had it for about five or six months and you see how much I've used in five or six months. Now, this is a pricey oil. I think it's like $38. But when I tell you, it actually comes with all of your herbs and everything. So I'll just take a bowl of water and I'll heat up a bowl of water in the microwave. And then I'll set this in it. I'll kind of pop the top just a little bit. So, you know, nothing happens. And it smells so good. It smells so herby oh my god it smells like lemongrass oh my god it smells so good i like that herb smell when i'm busy doing treatments on my hair if you don't like that herb smell then you're not gonna like this smell but i'll take and sit it in there while i'm busy doing everything else pre-pooing and shampooing and showering and all that by the time i'm ready to get around to my hot oil treatment it has warmed up it's a brown oil i'll try to insert a picture of what it actually looks like for you guys but all of these herbs and it just infuses your hair and it really helps restructure, soften, and build and protect your hair. I am in love with Green Beauty. If you don't try anything else in this haul, try all of it. But definitely give Green Beauty a try as far as what you're trying to do in reference to your hair growth journey. Okay guys, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is Sultanicals. So Tentacles is a brand that I found out about on Instagram probably back in 2015. And I've been an avid diehard die customer of theirs since. Their products just work amazingly well. Their butters, their oils, their creams, their deep conditioners, their repairing treatments. I like all of that. The only thing I don't like is their hair spritz, <laughs> leave-in conditioners, moisturizers. I don't like those. Those don't play in tend to play too well with my hair but the actual products that I did go ahead and buy again I did go ahead and get and make this order back on the 29th of January of this year shipped out to me on the 6th of January so every product I'm going to show you guys cost me $15 $16 outside of the hair glaze so we'll go ahead and start with the hair glaze this stuff gives you amazing slip, amazing slip. 
And this is the Soul Tanicles Curl Blaze Hair Glaze with Marshmallow Root, Coconut Oil, and Blue Malva. The Blue Malva and the Marshmallow Root combined together. It is a very slippery, it's a um, light holding gel without giving you that hard cast that you have to scrunch out with oil or with your hands, you know, when you take your hair down. But this is so amazing. It held my braid out so well. It kept my hair very moisturized, added shine, hold, everything. Like this product is simply amazing. I love this product. And the smell of this product, it smells so good. It smells like marshmallow candies. And it's kind of thick. Let's see if we can show it to you guys. It's kind of thick a little bit. See how that is? I know it looks gross. Let me stop. But see, it's kind of thick, but it's also, once you put it on your hands and do this, it loosens up. And as you put it through your hair, it's so easy for you to be able to detangle and moisturize your hair. I love this. So this is $15. Everything else I'm going to show you guys is all $16. Next thing that I went ahead and got is their Shebae Ginger Soup. Shebae Ginger Super Deep Conditioner with Shebae Ginger and Stimulating Herbs. I love their deep conditioners. Like just anything that's able just to go in and just really help my hair. And their product smells so good. This smells like brown sugar and pumpkin. It smells like sweet potatoes. No, no, no. It smells like pumpkin and brown sugar. It smells so good. And you can always see like the herbs and minerals that they actually use in their products actually you can actually see them in their products and with this one it's pretty much the reason why I got this one is because it's for hair growth and length, length retention and it's also a pH balancing deep conditioner so that's something I really need with my hair you can grow all the hair you want to but if you're not having a length retention type of regimen you're never going to see the results that you're actually looking for so I went ahead and got this couldn't be happier with it I did also go ahead and get another one of these. I get these every time they become available on the site. This is their Mononi Moisture Slip Dip Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. It's a protein, it's protein and glycerin free. So with this one, pretty much what it does is a deep conditioning. It gives you so much slip, but it really gives you a lot of moisture. And with this one, it has scalp support. So it's balanced out with botanical extracts and nutrients. So it helps with circulation of blood with your actual scalp. Damage, it helps to repair that. And it also has other actives in the actual conditioner that really helps your hair. So again, absolutely love this. Next thing that I went ahead and got is the Can't Believe It's Not Butter. This is their coconut milk and Jamaican black castor oil and this product is pretty much a hair butter that pretty much softens your hair adds moisture and helps with sealing your actual hair down I love all of their butters like I told you guys I have so many I'm gonna go through and do a haircut collection but it comes in really thick and white and the thing I love about their products is oh they're all so amazing. They all smell so well. And as you can tell, with these products, I haven't used them because you see each one of them, I'm opening, I'm picking up, I'm actually breaking the seal to actually show you guys what the product looks like. Outside of this, I haven't used the other ones. I've used them before in the past, but these are part of my new order, my new shipment. The next thing I got is my favorite product that they sell i keep trying to get the salon sizes when they go on sale and i keep missing them to keep selling out so i have to keep just repurchasing these smaller ones but this is my favorite product that they sell hands down i've been buying this product for five years yeah since 2015 i've been buying this product for five years periodically throughout the actual year and this is their afrotastic curl elastic deep conditioning treatment it has low protein I'll use this on the weeks where I'm not using the Green Beauty, Beauty Protein Treatment as my actual deep conditioner because it moisturizes and it gives me just a slight tinge of protein since my hair loves protein and needs protein. So this thing right here, when I tell you it melts into your actual coils and curls 
And if you put this on, put on the conditioning cap and sit under your hair dryer for about 30 or 45 minutes. Once you finish doing that, walk around your house clean, do something for 10 minutes, and then take when you take it out, your hair feels so soft. It feels like silk. You can already start to run your fingers through it the whole now. When you get in the shower, the true test is when you get out of the shower and rinse this out and you get out of the shower or if you do your hair in the sink, you know, whatever. But once you get back over to having a towel around your shoulders and you're looking at your hair, you know how you go in and you look at your scalp and you look at your hair and you take a look at your ends and different things like that. Going in with this one, this is almost a product I could tell you that you can see immediate results from. And the longer you use it, the better you'll see with the condition of your hair. Absolutely recommend this one. And the last thing that we got in from Soul Tanicals, I had not already used and completely destroyed because I always warm my products up. Anytime I'm using conditioners, oils, anything, even with my pre-pool treatments, the only thing I don't warm up are my shampoos or my co-washes. But any and everything else that's going on in my hair, I warm up. So I'll take a bowl of hot water, throw it in the microwave, nuke it in the microwave for five minutes, and I'll literally sit these items in that bowl and allow my product to warm up. Again, guys, I have low porosity hair. So in order for me to get any type of penetration from products or anything like that, I have to have warm products going on my hair, and I still have to massage them in, even if it's just water. It has to be warm water, and I still have to massage it in. Otherwise, the products will sit on top of my hair and take an extremely long time to start to sink into my actual hair. But this one that I got is the Afro, is the Fro Despair. This is their Vitamin Hair Repair. It's a plant root, mega deep conditioner with biotin, folic acid, and mega greens. When I tell you this is amazing, I love this one. This one is the one that I'll go in and mix with my actual green beauty. And I'll use this as a conditioner, and a little bit goes a long way. It smells so good. It works so well. This one I'm definitely going to be repurchasing because I it took me two times. Typically, any type of hair products will come in this size. I'm using a whole thing in one setting. But I was able to get two uses out of this. And when I tell you I love it, it's the conditioner that I use for the hairstyle that you guys see right now, my deep conditioner. Absolutely love it. If you haven't had a chance to check out Sultanicals, I highly recommend you guys just go in and just look at some of their best-selling high-rated products and just give it a try. Their products are not cheap, but looking at Shea Moisture and different brands like that, they come in just a little bit more expensive than Shea Moisture. So I definitely want to go ahead and give you guys an option with this, and these are sold locally in certain stores. I always just buy my stuff from their website, but just go ahead and give it a try and see how it actually works for your hair. Okay, so this isn't new to my channel by any means, guys. My next haul is coming from She Is Bomb Collection. Uh, yeah, this is sad. Because I, I buy my products based on my backup, so I can restock my backup as I'm going through my actual hair care collection. But the first order that I placed was August 16, 2019, before I had my surgery last year. And I've been dibbling and dabbling in these products, so I can tell you they all work. They all are phenomenal. But the first thing I got was the Slick and Slay hair gel for $10. When I tell you this gel is freaking amazing and phenomenal, just go in and just lay my edges down and just put a scarf on it. Give it about 10 minutes and it stays down. Heat, humidity, the whole night. Anytime I'm slicking my little updo ponytails that you guys see that I wear or just anything. Or I'll go in very lightly, take a little bit of this, very lightly. Take a little bit of this and spread it all over my hands and use it as a gel for my actual hair. I love this. And this gel is... I mean, obviously you can tell I've been using it. I mean, clearly I've been dipping my little grubby hands in it. But this gel is one of those gels that do that. So as you guys can see, so just so you'll know, it is one of those type gels, but it is amazing. And they smell so good. Her products typically always smell so good. Like I really love her. You can get them from your local, local beauty supply store. If not, Reach out to her Instagram and let her know, hey, it's not available in my local stores at my city. But I always order from her website unless it's something last minute that I'm just out of and I need to go get. 
then at that point I'll have to run into a local beauty supply store. The next thing that I got in this order is the Fuse Foam. And this, I use this when I'm doing my braid outs. Anytime I'm going in with my braid outs, I'll go in with my leave-in conditioner, uh, spray leave-in conditioner, my actual leave-in cream, which is always a conditioner that I put back on my actual hair. And I'll put this over it and then an oil on top or either I'll put a gel on top and an oil on top. I love these. I absolutely love these. So much so that the next time I placed the order with her on the 30th of November, I went ahead and got a Black Friday foam again because they're normally $10, but they were on sale for $6.50, so I went ahead and grabbed another one. I went ahead and grabbed her shampoo and conditioner duo that she had for Black Friday, which was $12. So I went ahead and grabbed these. These are really amazing, really great. I love these. One, I love her packaging. Her packaging is just, yes. This is how you do branding. But I went ahead and got the shampoo and the actual conditioner, so I actually love these. I will be repurchasing those. And I did go ahead and get some more of her growth oils. These are the only growth oils that I use that can actually work on my actual hair. I don't know if you guys have ever had this problem or ever went through this situation, but the BB Judy, her kaleidoscope drops, when I put them on my edges and throughout my scalp and stuff and massage them in, they're too strong for my hair. They really start to, um, I don't get like a scalp burn, but something happens with my scalp and right here at the neck, the nape of my hair, right here in the back, if I put the kaleidoscope drops back there, it'll break my hair off. Like, I don't know what it is about kaleidoscope drops. They're too strong for me. Like, it has the opposite effect for me instead of helping grow my hair or just anything that it may be advertised to do it breaks my hair and my hair be itching so bad and I know itching is a part of hair growth so you'd be thinking like hey it's growing but no it was itching so bad and I was scratching like it was just I couldn't deal with it but these her vitamin E hair growth oil drops man these are the truth and these are the Black Friday special that she had they were um six dollars each and I grabbed two of them for a total of twelve dollars so I like this packaging a whole lot better than the other one. The other one came in the dropper. I like this one better just for me to be able to go in and just put it on my hair. But if you guys ever have a chance to check out She's Bomb Collection and you have any problems laying your edges, let's just say you know you can go in and lay your edges. You don't have 3A, 3B, or 3C hair. You know when you go in and lay your edges and, okay, let's talk it real you not the type of girl that can use mousse to lay your edges down. It's just not going to happen. When you go in and lay your edges, and before you can even put your little scarf on to tie them down, they are already starting to curl back up. Why you trying to play me? Why you trying to play me? Let me stop. I would definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and check out her edge control. I've already talked to you guys before about my favorite edge controls and what actually work. To where, as I'm out and about, you guys know I live in Georgia. So in the heat and humidity, I don't have time to be walking out of here thinking I'm slayed to the gods, baby. And then laying my hair and edges and all that. And then get to wherever I'm trying to get to. And my edges are like, you thought. I don't have, I don't have time for disrespectful edges. Either I'm not going to do my edges, I'm going to just leave them alone in their natural habitat and just let them do their own thing, or I'm going to slay them. There's no either or for me. You know what I'm saying? So imagine taking the time to slay your edges, only for you to not even pull out your driveway or by the time you get to church, work, club, a concert, the restaurant, or whatever, they are already like, and you thought, <laughs> you'd be like, check your products out, guys hands down recommend her products the last company i want to talk about should come is no surprise i know a lot of you guys loved my last review uh when she first released one of her new products and i did my little unboxing haul review and i was being real crazy with the head scarf that head scarf is a lifesaver i wear that head scarf to work all the time i work in manufacturing i always have to tie my hair up before i put on you know, we have to wear hard hats and stuff at work. Obviously, clearly, we work around machinery. So, I use that hair scarf all the time. But 
her product, when I told you guys when I was taking down my braids and I used her product to, first of all, when I was taking down my braids, I would take it down. I would go into the section and I would just spray a mixture of rose water and water on the section. And then I would put her product on it and just massage it into the head and go in and detangle it and just, you know, plait it back up to keep that section out of the way as I'm working on the rest of my braids and cornrows and taking it down. By the time I got ready to wash my hair, my hair was so moisturized and so soft. I was just blown away. I was blown away to the fact of, I went back and bought so much melanin hair care. Whitney is a godsend for natural, for the natural hair community. When she cut her hair, like, what was it, last, four weeks ago? Like, four weeks ago when she cut her hair, I was sitting up there just looking at her cutting her hair like, ooh. <laughs> one of the most satisfying things you'll ever do, one of the most freeing things you can ever do is when you are on a hair, hair growth journey, you get to a certain point, and you're fine and you're cool and you're okay with that, but you move to... I want something new. I want something different. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lifestyle change or someone coming in and out of your life. It's just something inside of you is saying it's time for something new. It's time for a change. I totally understood everything that she was saying when she explained why she cut so much of her hair off. And when she cut her hair and I was just sitting up there looking, I was just like, me and everybody else in the comments was like, bitch, I'm going to go cut my hair too. Like, Damn this, do you know how long it takes to go through? Once you get past bra strap length hair, do you know how much product you go through? Do you know how long your conditioning sessions and your detangling sessions and your styling sessions, do you know how much time that is? Do you know how your arms hurt? Even when you have ear length hair, Sitting up there doing your hair and doing all of this, do you not know how much your arms hurt and stuff? Like, um, am I part of the natural hair community? No, absolutely not. Because I'm tech flex. I use chemicals on my hair. I not only use chemicals to color my hair, I also break down the curl pattern and protein bonds in my hair when I go into tech flex my hair. So, no, I'm not a part of the natural hair community. I'm part of the tech flex hair community, but I know a little bit. Just just a little, but I was so enamored and happy with her products and what they did to my hair. I have yet to use it as a deep conditioner. I, 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 I hadn't took that splurge yet because these products, the products, they're not pricey. Let me be honest with you because a lot of my hair care products you just saw me get from Soul Tentacles and other places. They come in at a $16, $17 mark. For her products to come in at less than $20, it's not pricey. It's just I'm heavy handed. So that's my problem. So because I love her multi use softening leave in conditioning cream that she had out. This is a new bottle, by the way. I had already used the other bottle. I, know, I bought four of them. I've already used one. Like, I, I did this purchase back in February, guys. So, it's May. So, let me show you how quickly I go through her products. I had already completely used one. I got a little bit left in there. This is the second one. Here's the third one. Here is a fourth one. Uh, future Lynn, now looking at her box and not counting. Lynn lied. Lynn had five. So, it's one. <laughs> Two, three, four, and five. Yeah. Uh, let me know if she needs some help working in her warehouse and if we get discount prices on hair care products because I can come help work on the weekends. I love you, girl. Thank you so much for creating this product and bringing it to us. And I got an order. I had made an order um, right before the coronavirus situation hit. And I didn't actually complete that order. And now I'm like, darn it. 
course, you know, she's waiting on, you know, her supplier and stuff to be able to bring in more product for us so we can actually order more product. I totally get and understand that. So I'm being very stingy with my melanin hair care products. Like I'm being very stingy having to hold on to these and just baby these until I can get some more into my collection because as soon as she gets in more product, please believe I'm automatically going to place an order for like 8 or 12. And if I got to place multiple orders, I'll place multiple orders. But that's... It. If I couldn't have no other hair care brands, period, ever in my life, all I could have was water, rose water, aloe vera juice to moisturize my hair. And then... I could only pick two brands to ever use hair products from again. It would be Melanin Hair Care and Green Beauty. Any and everything else I can get rid of, I can do without, I can just figure some other stuff out. But Melanin has shot to number two on my list because of how my hair feels. It holds moisture, it retains moisture. Like, yeah, I clip my ends, but look at those ends. Look at those ends. Like, I, I can't sing her praises enough of how much I love her brand. I went ahead and ordered the oil last year, and you guys know I've had this oil for about five months. And I don't use this as a hot oil treatment. I use this to oil my scalp and to seal my hair when um, I'm finished styling my hair. I'll seal it with this. I add more oil to my hair. This has last me for five months, so I will be buying another one of these because apparently one bottle of oil will probably last me because I switch out in between this oil and the Green Beauty oil. So one bottle of oil probably lasts me about a year. So I'll buy another one in my next haul too. This oil, this is her multi-use pure oil blend. Ugh, guys, this oil is light. It's absorbent. It works amazingly well on your hair without leaving it too greasy. Uh, don't be heavy handed with oil because you're going to have a situation happen where you're going to have oil running all down the side of your face, your back, your neck, and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, be gingerly with it. But this is amazing. I'm telling you guys. And I did go ahead and stick my hand into her original product, product which is her melanin. Twisted elongating style cream with shea butter and national oils. And it gives long lasting definition. It gives a soft hold to the hair. But what I liked, um, you guys can't even see. I've already dipped into that. Like, that's how far my finger go in to show you exactly how much I've dipped into it. When I tell you guys, her products, I... I I don't know. I look at the ingredients on her products, and then I look at the ingredients on other products. Don't know, don't care. Don't know, don't care. Look, I'm, I'm not one of those do-it-yourselfers. I do have certain do-it-yourself stuff when it comes to my actual hair care. But in honesty, like real talk, having a conversation with you guys, i much rather just pay somebody else to figure it out, do it, and put it together, package it, and... I'll just buy it, just ship it to me, and I'll use it because sitting up there doing all the do-it-yourself, going to get all the oils and butters, herbs, and natural ingredients. Again, I already told you guys, wash day for me on a good day, on a good day, my wash day is four hours long. From my pre-poo to my washing or co-washing to my deep conditioning, I'm always doing two treatments. Every time I do my hair, I always do two treatments. It's always going to be a moisturizing and hot oil or a protein treatment followed by a moisturizing deep conditioner. Like, it's always two type of conditions happen to my hair back to back. Um, and then styling. Like, like I said, on a good day, I can get through all of that probably in like four hours. Um, on a bad day, depending on the style that I'm trying to do, or how many treatments I need to do to my hair, just whatever, it can take up to eight hours. So for me, it's not that I don't have time, it's just that I refuse to make time to do complete do-it-yourself stuff. I just can't, I just can't. Again, probably part of the reason why I would probably never fit in in the actual natural hair community because, girl, I can't. 
But the fact that she was able to put it together, figure it out, and package it and present it for us, and it actually works. Like the moisture retention is the reason why I'm I'm one of her number one fans, and I will forever be one of her number one fans. My hair has never been so moisturized. Just changing up my products, understanding my products better, how and when to use them, how often to use them, and paying attention to what my hair feels like and what my hair looks like is how I've been able to obtain hair growth, thickness, and length retention, as well as keeping my hair moisturized. And her products, man, they're amazing. Like I said, I can't wait for her to restock because as soon as she restocked, boo, I'm going to go get them. <laughs> okay, guys, so we've reached the end of the video. You've seen my little talks about each product and each brand and why I'm in love with them and why I support them and why I would bring them on my channel and actually recommend it to you guys. Let me know if there's any other hair care brands out there that you just swear by. Just, just because you guys see my hauls from Ulta and Sephora, so you already know about my other hair care brands that I love, appreciate, and cons consistently use and repurchase. But sometimes you're not always aware of everything. So if it's something else out there that you guys have used or found, as long as it's not no do-it-yourself type project, again, uh, I have the time for it. I just refuse to make the time for it. I don't have time for that. I'm just, I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. Again, probably part of the reason why I would never be part of the natural beauty hair community because I'm not that girl, but I'll do everything else. I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming and spending time with me and supporting my channel. Let me know if you are already rocking some of these products like Lambo. You late to the game. I've already had those. They are amazing. Or... You're like, well, dang, I've been on the fence. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Just let me know. Just get a conversation started with me. Either way it goes, I'm happy you spent some time with your girl. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, YouTube. And until next time, bye.